Live from Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 Eyewitness News Saturday morning starts right now. Good morning to all of you, and I just want to say welcome to the weekend. Buckingham Fountain up and running out there. Folks already on the move on Lakeshore Drive. So nice to have you with us as we get this day started. We are coming up on 8 o'clock. I'm Stacy Baca. And I'm Jessica D'Onofrio. We begin with meteorologist Mark McGinnis and a check of the ABC7 AccuWeather forecast. Mark? Woodfield Mall will reopen for business this morning, less than 24 hours. After an SUV right here left the path of destruction inside the shopping center, the wild ride played out yesterday afternoon. Shoppers, employees sent running for their lives at that point. Kate Kogiran joins us live just outside of Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg with the very latest. And Kate, there's so many questions still about this situation. That's exactly right, Stacy. And as employees and shoppers return to the mall, the 22 year old driver is still in police custody as we wait to learn new details as to what happened. In a trailblazer, a trailblazer driving through the mall right now. The video shows the moment shoppers were sent in a wave of panic after an SUV entered the Woodfield Mall, just barely missing crowds of shoppers. Schomburg police say this happened just before 2.30 yesterday afternoon. Police say the driver, a 22-year-old from Palatine, plowed through the glass entrance to Sears and continued to drive through the store into the mall common area before witnesses say it crashed into a pillar. Many of those shoppers rushed into back rooms, fearing a shooter. You can hear gun, uh, shooter, bomb, and you're like, what's going on? So I stood up and there was a wave of 100 people running towards an exit behind me. We just heard a loud bang. People were saying that they thought it was somebody shooting. We took us to the back of the store and locked us in a room in the back. Reports of shots fired, but police say they found no evidence of that. The 22 year old was taken into custody, and investigators have not named him or said what charges he could be facing. The ABC 7i team did speak to his family. His father says he has a health condition that requires medication, but did not say what that condition is. We know that three people were taken to the hospital with very minor injuries. Mall officials released a statement saying that this was an isolated incident, and they are grateful. No major injuries were reported. Reporting live in Schaumburg, Kate Kogier and ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Kate, thank you. So we have more eyewitness accounts, more videos as well. The latest information anytime 24 7 on our website, abc7chicago.com. We're following breaking news from overnight. Two Chicago police officers are seriously hurt after being dragged by a suspect. It happened near 35th and King Drive. During questioning about a weapon, police say the man pushed past officers and ran to a car. Officers chased him and were briefly dragged as he drove away. Police found the vehicle, but they are still looking for the man at this hour. New this morning, striking nurses at University of Chicago Medical Center returned to work this morning only to find out they've been locked out. Let us work! Let us work! Let us work! The nurses are upset because they're now locked out till Wednesday after the hospital hired replacement workers to work for five days. The nurses union says they walked out over lack of staffing. Hospital representatives say they made a generous offer, but the union rejected it. Updating you on breaking news, Metro South Hospital in Blue Island has stopped accepting new patients. The hospital's owner is moving to close it, while community advocates and local lawmakers are trying to find a way to keep it open. Metro South had already told employees a facility would shut down at the end of the month, but failed this week to get state approval to do so. Some Chicago parents are upset, saying their kids were moved to another school during the day, and no one was notified at that point. The parents say they went to pick up their kids at Wentworth Elementary in West Englewood yesterday afternoon, and they were told their children weren't there. Their kids were taken to another school because of a water main break or no water that was in the school. There was no notification uh, that these kids were being removed from this school. The students were taken to the nearby Parker Center. We reached out to CPS for a response. They have not gotten back to us. Right now, there's a line of growing outside of Chicago's Wind Trust Arena. That's because hundreds of people from all across the country are here with hopes of becoming the next American Idol. Auditions are being held all day for the next season of the popular singing competition. Megan Kluth joins us live from inside Wind Trust Arena. She is in the thick of it all. Good morning, Megan. 
Good morning, Jessica. The doors here at Wintrust Arena opened about 30 minutes ago and hundreds of people began to file in to take their shot at becoming the next American Idol. Take a look at this crowd. The next American Idol might be right here. Does anyone want to do a live audition on television? What's your name? Hi, I'm Mac Maher. Mac, come on down. Mac will be singing for us on television. Mac, what are you going to sing today? I will be singing my original song. It's called Tundra. An original. How long did it take you to write this? So I've been working on my EP for about two years now. Wow. Okay, let's hear it. Gotta get out right now. Get out to the birds, in the bees, in the streets, in the sheets. Get out right now. Get out in the sunshine. It'll be fine. Get out before you run out of time. Get out to the tundra. And that's a little bit of it. That's the chorus. Wow, everybody. Let's hear it for Mac. That's just a sample of what we're going to be hearing today. Thank you so much. And we're so excited. If I was a judge, I would send you to Hollywood. Now, anybody who wants to come out and audition for American Idol has to file their paperwork by 5 p.m. But the producers will be here at Wintrust Arena as long as it takes looking for the next American Idol. For now, live from Wintrust Arena, I'm Megan Kluth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you, Jessica. Oh, Megan, I'd send them all to Hollywood. They're so talented. I would, too. <laughs> I can't pick one. I know. They're all good. Thanks, Megan. Coming up next, water rescues are underway after a tropical storm slams the Houston area. We're tracking the state of emergency in Texas. Then coming up, Antonio Brown is out. What's next for the embattled NFL star? And later, he tickled the Ivories at Wrigley Field for more than three decades, but his ninth inning has come. Why Cubs games may never be the same. Stay with us.